I'm Ms. Artastic, and today we're going to draw a great white shark. So grab your favorite mark making mediums and let's make some art. <music> to begin our shark, we're going to start on the left side of our paper and work our way right. So we're going to begin with the Head. So we're going to draw one line out, one curving line in. Next, we're going to bring that line up, curve it for a fin, bring this line out, back towards that snout, curve it in. We're going to draw a nice curving V shape for the bottom fin. Now we're going to bring this line down and we're going to bring this line up and they're going to narrow to a point. Next we're going to draw the tail. So we're going to draw two curving lines out connect them with the curved line. This guy has eaten a lot recently. All right, from that snout, we're gonna draw a line down, connect it with that bottom fin. From this side of the fin, draw a line out, connect it to the tail to make that nice white belly. And we're going to draw the eye, so Draw a nice big circle. In that circle, draw one circle that's big and one circle that's small. Color in everything but those circles. And you'll have a nice great white shark eyeball. All right, now before we continue, we're going to thicken up some lines and then we're gonna give our shark are some teeth. Now we're going to do all the lines except for the mouth. So we're not going to thicken up the mouth, but we are going to go around the rest. And this will tidy up and straighten the lines while also making them bold. And that will make them, make our drawing stand up, stand off the page, capture our attention because it just adds a little bit more contrast, which of course is a principle of design. Contrast helps draw the viewer to look at the focal point. And the focal point in this artwork is our great white shark. Perfect. We got that nice and tidy now. All right, so er, I've left the mouth and now I'm gonna draw my teeth and I'm going to use slightly curving zigzag lines. So I'm gonna curve it and go down in the mouth. And I'm gonna add some along the bottom as well. And I won't go quite so close to the inside here, but I will add a nice little V-shape for some expressive wrinkles. And of course, our shark needs to breathe, so add some gills. And if you want, you can thicken them up by going over them a second time. You might want to do that for your fin line. Whatever you want. You can do it for your belly line. Perfect. Okay, so we got our shark, but what we don't have is something around it. So first, 
We're going to draw some waves and waves start off with a nice curving line that goes up, curves inward, curves back up, curves inward. We're gonna continue that wave line across the paper, across the horizon line. Now I'm not thickening up any other details because again, we want all of our audience's attention to look at the great white shark and then they can take their eyes and move around the paper. So we're inviting them into our artwork through the shark and then they can notice what's happening around after. That way they can spend some time with our art. All right, now to complete this, you can design a boat of your artist's choice, right? Because you are an amazing artist. So you can design your own style of boat at the top, just underneath the or behind the waves. We never know what's looming there underneath the surface. Lovely. <laughs> So now we can start off with coloring the shark. I'm going to grab a lovely gray um, felt marker and you can grab the color that you want to color your shark with as well. I'm going to leave the belly white. Of course, this is a great white. I'm just gonna take my gray and I'm just outlining the mouth for some shading. And I'll do along the bottom of the belly, but I'm not coloring. I'm just adding a shadow. So it's lighter than the black, so it'll appear to it'll appear as a shadow. Alright. this red. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, my goodness. adding a little detail on the front here. Um, I'm gonna add a mermaid because I accidentally colored outside the lines. But of course, um, artists like to take those little mistakes and turn them some into something, right? We can't get upset. We just gotta roll with it. So I've added a mermaid. <laughs> now I've taken that opportunity of a mistake and I've turned it into something. That's actually adding more detail into my art. Perfect. So 
the next time you feel like, oh no, I made a mistake. Before we get upset, just think, hmm, I wonder if I can turn this into something. If I can turn this into something. Finally, we can grab our blue. I'm not going to color everything, just some of the details. Perfect. And once you have your ocean all colored in, your lovely great white shark artwork is done. If you liked that video, hit subscribe as new art lessons are added weekly. Teacher, if you are looking for some fully planned art lessons, please make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, or for fully planned art teacher curriculum, head on over to artasticcollective.com. Or if you're looking for some other teaching ideas and art inspiration, you can visit my blog at msartastic.com or listen to the Ms. Artastic podcast on your favorite podcast player.